Hi everyone, it's Karen. Thanks for coming by. I didn't realize how high up I am. Um, I hope you've all been good. I have been busy with my little new grandson. Um, my daughter and her husband moved into the house so they could save money to buy a house because prices are outrageous. Um, so, you know, I just have been snuggling and hugging and, you know, loving on them. So I um, am here because I have a bunch of videos to make and I apologize for not um, getting them out, but I just couldn't. I just, yeah, sorry about my hair because in Massachusetts, it seems, oh, that's attractive. It seems to be about 10 million degrees out. So anyway, today we are going to well, work with these vases um, and we're gonna make some pumpkins out of them also not making videos I also have not been to the Dollar Tree in a while so I went just recently and bought a ton of stuff so now I am ready so we're gonna need three of these um, this with the flat or the little bubble one which I'll show you because I have two done so that you know I could actually get the video done we are going to need one of these or any kind of a tray I was gonna paint it but I think I want to leave it like that you're going to need some sticks now everybody buys these bags of sticks from dollar tree and i've looked and looked and looked i either they're like invisible or they are somewhere that i don't know where to look so anyway i bought some from um hobby lobby and they're just massive but i was able to find a few that were thin and I did cut them in half and I used my mitering shears, which you really, if you're looking for to make your life easier, that is the way to go. They're not magic and it's not like, um, sorry, I'm sweating. They're not magic. It's not like they're so easy, but they're great. So um, I have already done two and these are them. And um, I couldn't find, um, a stick that would fit in there, fit in here. These were huge. So I just um, just cut a circle and glued it to the top and then we can put the um, sticks or stems or whatever we're gonna call them on top of there. So I'm gonna put you down and we will get started. All right, so what I have is, oh, that's very good. I have paint on here. I have orange, red, pink, white, yellow. And I also have my antique wax. And um, basically how I do it, and um, I did uh, make a, put a coat of Mod Podge on here first, um, but I still found they were hard to paint. So I just took a damp paper towel and then I'm just kind of getting a little touch of the colors. And then we're just gonna stick them on there. And if you find you have too much of one color, you can just keep going over and over until whenever you wanna stop. But it's real quick to do, really easy. And um, yeah, so I'm trying to get a little bit more of the pink in there because I bought, I don't know if you guys have been to the Dollar Tree recently, but they have these beautiful um, pink and purple and blue uh, leaves for fall and I am in love so I'm just trying to get you know all the different colors in there so I'm not you know just sticking with straight orange so I hope you all have been well it's very hot here right now I think it's 96 degrees but the humidity just makes it you know, makes you cranky because you just are soaking wet every time you walk out the door. And it doesn't help that I don't have air conditioning in the room I'm in. I actually don't like air conditioning. I don't know if it's got something to do with the fibromyalgia or whatever else I have. I don't like the wind like on me. I know that sounds weird, but that is the case. All right, so I'm not gonna use um, the antique wax on this one because this one doesn't have any indenting grooves. I did, however, use it on 
these because I wanted to put a little bit of definition inside just to make it look a little bit more 3D like. So that is that while we are waiting for this to dry. Get this out of my way because as we all know, I will spill that. All right, so we are going to take our tray and I have these little blocks here, which I mentioned before that we all use it as regular styrofoam, but it's actually called Oasis and it's actually meant for fresh flowers because it, it absorbs a ton of um, a ton of water and it helps keep your flowers. If you make an arrangement, it helps keep them um, so they don't dry out. All right, so I'm gonna put these on just so I can see how much foam I really need. And I'm gonna just kind of put a drop of glue on underneath these, but basically I'm just um, trying to make it hold. It's, I did cut all the stems off because I was just kind of sticking the, um, let's see how much I can put. I was just kind of sticking the leaves in there, but I figured if I put this, maybe I could. And I might rip it out and not use it at all. So right now I'm just gonna stick it in there and see if this is gonna fit, which it will. All right, so there we go. So let's put that aside. And while oh, this one is drying, so these, I don't know if you have not been to the Dollar Tree, but you really need to go and run. Oh, just lost a pumpkin, hang on. And I lost my pink flowers that are here and here. So, I mean, are these not gorgeous? Like the pinks and, oh, just in love. And they're just called pumpkin maple flowers is what they're called. And I'm gonna leave these on the stem in case I wanna jam it in. But, um, yeah, so then there are, there are this color and I'm gonna put them together with this color because I think they're beautiful. I did just get, a, um, I think it's like, a, right here. Um, it looks kind of just like a um, window box, but it's thinner. Let me show you. Okay, so this is it. And I bought it off of Amazon and I think it was $14, but I'll let you know, I'm gonna do um, an arrangement in here. Um, I'm just gonna keep taping as much as I can. It might just be this one till next week, I don't know. But I ordered this and I figured we can just make an arrangement and then pull it out, make another one. It's just something that can be used over and over again. So that is that. And there's also purple flower. I mean, it's just, it's all gorgeous is what it is. All right, I think we're almost dry here. And I got my circle, which I forgot to turn on my glue. Let me move some of this junk out of the way. So I hope everyone is having a great summer. Um, I am, but you know, I already said that. I know it's, it's crazy, but you just fall in love with these little bundles of noisemakers and you just and you know my friends all told me oh wait grandmother you're just gonna love every bit of it and um yeah i i totally absolutely do all right let's see if this is ready to go put you back down and oh maybe just enough i do have smaller tips and i should have Put them on but that would make me planning and you know that i do not do that well at all. okay so i'm gonna try and put you more like this so that you can kind of see how we're doing there we go all right so here are our guys and here are our little stems and like i said i don't know if i'm using those or not but i do have um these leaves. So I'm kind of, what I'm going to do is just kind of as much as I can, and maybe I won't need to um, use the Oasis or the 
foam, floral foam, whatever you guys call it. Um, I'm gonna try without, that would be easier. Cause then I can spread these out more. And is that too close? I'm trying to make it so that you can see and I can't see, so. It's Evan. <sighs> My son just walked by and he's been living here um, for a month or so. And my dogs still bark at him every time. It's my daughter's husband. Every single time he walks down the stairs, my dog barks like he's someone new. But let me just tell you this. The other night, um, our cars were broken into. Well, not broken into technically because they were unlocked. However, someone went in the car, so I'm calling it broken into. And they... Um, stole out of my husband's car. They took his cell phone out of my son-in-law's car. They took my daughter's prescription sunglasses. So they didn't make off with anything there, but um, yeah, it's just frustrating. Very, very frustrating. But anyway, okay, so back to this. So what I'm gonna do is take just these leaves that I just, I'm gonna poke here and there. And then at the end, I'm gonna stick some little um, pumpkins here and there. And you really could just do whatever you want. You know, just take what's there, see what you've got cut, see how much you want. You know, not everybody wants, like I want the, um, the black and white to show on the tray. So I'm gonna be doing that and piling it up a little bit more. And then we're gonna add more of the pinks, if I can find them. And I also thought of maybe putting a jack-o'-lantern face on these, but I don't know. I'm just going with the flow right now. So anyway, we're just sticking these things in. And I know I cut more of these, but we'll find them, I guess. Oh, I already pulled these out, I'll use these. So anyway, your, your goal is you want to try and make it so that you don't have any big holes because that just doesn't look good at all. And we do better than that. We are good. And doing these um, arrangements is really, you know what, there's really not like a law or it's kind of just what you like and what you want to see on your table or for whoever you're giving it to, um, you know, that kind of stuff. Just do as you like. And I will do that too. So anyway, I'm just kind of trying to evenly around the outside, like if you can see over here, we've got a lot of space in here. Oh, I hate this. I'm trying to up, oh, see, we got corners that are empty. We also have these little um, things. I don't know what they're called, but we're gonna just stick those in here and there. And that's gonna help us make a more cohesive, do you like that word? Cohesive arrangement. So anyway, you're just gonna kind of sit here and stick things wherever you want and remember, we're gonna put some pumpkins in there for this space here. You know, we're still gonna stick some flowers down there, but um, we are also going to use the pumpkins. So I'm gonna use my mitering shears to cut some of these off. And so this one has the little berries. All right, let's call them berries. That's a good name. And again, if you want to use the um, the floral foam, that would, again, help you keep all this stuff wherever you put it. I just, um, I'm just doing this for now. I'm not keeping it or giving it yet. So I'm just kind of floating it all in there. And when you think that you're filled in, which I thought I was, but look at this hole. You cannot have a hole. So just stick this in there. 
And let me cut off a little bit more pink with these guys. And you know, pick any colors that you like because Dollar Tree has, I was shocked how much stuff they have at Dollar Tree. I mean, usually my Dollar Tree gets nothing. And I had made a video because um, my Dollar Tree um, suddenly was giving us a whole nother aisle of crafts. Sorry, I'm just gonna make this so that maybe you can see it better. Like that, if I pull it back. No, that's worse. All right, hang on. Let me put the whole thing down. Put that there. And put this up here. All right, we're still very close. I'm gonna have to, again, work on my uh, placement of things. So let's see if, is this better? So it's crooked and still way too close. All right, so yeah, things are not working out well here. Hang on and let me see if I can make it so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. I'm gonna hire a cameraman, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm aware that you're probably looking at my entire messy living room. But let's try that. That might be working. All right, oh, this is a better, I think. Do you guys think? I think where it should be higher. Ugh. It never ends, all the issues. But since we're here, let's stick some more stuff in. And apparently, I'm looking at this right here, and that looks horrible. So I'm going to see if I can get a pumpkin to stick on there, because it apparently looks like one has fallen off. Shut that off for right now. So anyway, so now we're going to try and fill in the holes with pumpkins and those little berries. So we have the white pumpkins, we've got the light orange, we've got the dark orange that's attached to the leaves. And again, whatever you like, just, just go with it because no one can tell you what you like, what you're looking for, and what and how you wanna make things. So just do it, whatever makes you happy. All right, so, see if I can get in the middle. I love it, okay. So this got to be moved over. And again, plop as many of those pumpkins that you want to all around. Oh, I got a little pinkish one that I think was supposed to go here. It's kind of a lot of pumpkins together. So I'm gonna stick one back here. They're just so cute. And you know, the other colors with the purple and the blue, that's a big thing this year is the blue pumpkins. Um, it is trending that they are the thing. So if it's trending, then I buy it. Because I, you know, just do that. And again, you wanna stick these little berries anywhere you want. And I did buy like a whole thing of them. They're a little bit different than what comes on um, your bouquet. This is what comes with the leaves and you also get one pumpkin. And you wanna be careful when you're picking out your leaves because you wanna make sure that you're getting um, a full branch because you don't wanna go home and find out that you're missing the three pumpkins that go on top of that. So definitely check because it's Dollar Tree and you know what happens at Dollar Tree. All right, so let's look at this. Oh, I love it. All right, and then we're gonna stick our little um, pumpkin tops. Oops, took a nosedive, hang on. This one, and maybe this little whitish one. So if anyone knows whereabouts in Dollar Tree these little sticks are located, 
I will be your best friend if you'll tell me. The other thing I'm finding without the Oasis in, and clearly, you know, if you're gonna keep it the way it is, then maybe you wanna add the Oasis. But what I'm finding is that they will slip off. So if you want to around the edges, you can put a little bit of um, hot glue and that will hold them. And let's see, stick this on now. But yeah, I bought a ton of stuff at Dollar Tree and I'm ready to go back. All right, so here we go. And we can turn this. Oh, the other little pumpkin that I was making, and you probably have the right ones at your Dollar Tree. Push this up. Not to get that right in your face and get rid of the glue globs. Um, is these jars? And um, I don't, we don't have at ours the one that, that are orange. So I painted this exactly like those and have somewhere the cover to it, which has disappeared. Oh, here it is. So same thing. What you can also do is if you don't have the ones that are tinted orange at your Dollar Tree, you can, um, Buy the ones that are clear. You can either pour the paint on the inside or paint the outside. And I did the same technique where I just dabbed and dabbed forever in a day and got that done. You can um, stick one onto here, which looks, I'm so sorry, I'm trying to figure out this camera, um, which is adorable, don't you think? So then you can stick a little pumpkin stem on top of this jar like that but they're cute little jars to put you know anything in for a gift or let's see if we put a little bit of a flower or leaves oh leaves and a pumpkin good idea use our little miter shears to cut that on and then you can bend it we can glue, oh, look at how pretty, guys. Oh, I love this. All right, I think we'll glue this on. I think I will give this to my mother. She is the one that gets all of my projects when I'm done with them. And I just think a mother's not gonna throw them out, right? I, I think no matter how old you are, it's like a law that your mother can't throw your stuff away that you make for her. I mean, if she wants to get rid of my kindergarten art, I'm all for that. But, oh my God, this camera. Um, I kind of like that. Let's see if I can, let's pull off the little the stems. That will make it, oh, there we go. All right. So I'm just gonna put like a little dab of glue because you do want the, the green stem part um, facing down and mine all seem to be facing up so and then maybe I will just pop off a pumpkin like this and I will stick them in there like that oh, do you love I love that look aside from the cobwebs from the glue gun Look at this, guys. Out of all those. Oh, look at, I just love that. You know what? I'm gonna put a little orange pumpkin on there too. Find one. Mm, is there a little orange one on there? Let's see if I can steal one. Or, Take this one. Oh, look, yes, look. All right. I like that with the two. Oh, on the side, I like better. There we go. Look at that. I love it. 
And you could put twine around it. I really don't even think it needs it, but everybody seems to like a bow. So um, we can put twine on it. Let's get some and see what it looks like. Oh, I love my three pumpkins, I gotta say. I just found this perfect amount right here in my hands. I'm gonna do a finger bow, which I will move that. Take your two fingers and your thumb, go over the first finger, over, under, over, in between, right in that triangle, through, and tie. Let's make, let's make a double one. I think this is big enough to make a double bow. Just go over, two, go down, through your little triangle space it'll give you, and then just tie it together on the back and stick it through, right? So we're like this. This is hard to see when I can't figure out what side of the camera I'm supposed to be on. And you just want to tighten it so that you don't lose your other loop either because mine's starting to get buried under there. So now you have the double loops. This just has to get a little bit tighter. All right. So, and we can just stick this right here. Do you like that? I like that. I don't know if I like the double bow. Hang on, let's try it again and see if we like it. Cause this string is thicker than twine or whatever it is, than the usual that I would make a bow with. But I seriously think if you see stuff that people are making and you wanna get stuff from the Dollar Tree, you need to go because I can't imagine that staying I mean especially at mine I don't know what you guys but we never get what a lot of you guys get and then when we do get it there's like a very limited quantity and everybody buys them and then that's it all right so this is our pumpkin now should we put the bow oh okay you're right here thank you whoever mentioned that I heard it all right, so I'm gonna glue this right here, glue that on there. I'm going to chop off my ends like this, straighten out my little bows. And here it is. I love it. I hope you guys love it. I hope you try this. Um, and again, however you want to do this, you want to, you know, just make a, if you have a circular bowl, you don't have to do all three. Everything my camera does is backwards and I keep like not comprehending that. So any way that you want to do it, you want to keep putting stuff in there, build it up as high as you want, go right ahead. Because it's up to you and what you like for your home. All right, wait a minute, this is too close. That's, there it is. <laughs> sorry about that, hold on, I'm trying to fix it. Um, yeah, sorry about that. So um, I hope you um, liked this and um, please like and subscribe if you happen to like what I'm doing. My little pumpkins took a nosedive. Um, and I really do appreciate you coming by and I appreciate your comments and good or bad, leave me some comments. Um, I am a little disheveled today. I have to get back in the swing of things. So I hope you guys will um, just give me some time to break away from that little cutie patootie of mine in this house right now. I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do when they move. Somebody better get me ready for counseling. So anyway, I hope you all have a great day. Keep cool. And I will be back with um, my next video. Have a great day.